And on a beautiful Saturday evening, we welcome you to Fresno, California, here in the Valley. Inside of Bulldog Stadium, a critical non-conference matchup as BYU comes calling against the Fresno State Bulldogs. Played in 20 starts, had a high ankle sprain, it's been banged up, and he's got to play well tonight for the Cougars to have a shot. Well, he really does, Roy, and, and he's been, I would say at best, he's been inconsistent this year. And, you know, he has struggled with injuries, and seemingly he's as healthy as he's been all year. BYU injuries have been the story. Trineman with the catch and gets a quarterback draw. And he'll be stopped two yards short by Pau again, who's had an active two of four from this range this year, has a cannon for a leg. And right between the pipes as Fresno State draws. Trojans grabbing that early lead against perhaps Heisman contender Khalil Tate. And the Wildcats out in the flats. Braden El Bakri. And the rumbling fullback moves ahead to the third. Obviously be a uh, either for the good or the bad. They came in prepared though and relatively healthy. Mangum completes to Bo Tanner. Second season in part because of the injuries but he refuses to use that as an excuse. Mangum escapes and slides in safely after a gain of four and a half. To Baton Rouge you're going to get someone's best and they got him. El Bakri, the running back, off of play action. Mangum will flip it out. And El Bakri makes his second grab, tripped up near a first step. Starter last season, Mangum ended up being the backup, attempted only 18 passes. It's a different BYU attack. Hefo, far side, and a quality pickup. The running back. And a patient run. Should net the first down. It'll all come down to the spot. And he came up short. Had heard a lot about him, and Andy Ward had good training for sure. McMarion wants it all, looking deep. Jordan's got it for the first down. It'll be first and goal for Fresno State. He's having a tough time spotting the ball. Mims, the stutter step. Did he get there? He did. Back in order. Of course, you got to get the ball to Bushman, and Fresno State's doing exactly. What they want to do, same balanced on offense to that offense and just feed him the ball more. Play action, Mangum slings it, first down. And the Cougars, Mangum was thought to finally be healthy this week. They're suffering that lower extremity sprain. They'll dump it across the middle, Bushman with a nice pickup ahead to the 45-yard line, a trio of Bulldog defenders. In search of some kind of momentum, trailing by 10. Play action again for Mangum across the middle. Catch number three for Bushman. Into Fresno State Terry Short coming up for the Cougars. The handoff goes to Squally Canada, who finds some running room. And tripped up crossing the 40. Hefo in motion now in the slot. Mangum looking his way. The pass will be caught by Micah Simon. Brought Offside, defense, five-yard penalty, replay, third down. Mangum, pass is caught, drive continues. Double coverage in the play with it, and he's off to a strong start. Ten play of this possession. He'll fake the reverse, Mangum with a running lane, directing traffic, and Mangum steps out. It'll be first and goal for BYU. Played some of the Wildcat spot this year. That's number two in white. Mangum tied in. Bushman has it and pushed down short of the 10. Red Alvin, 9 for 13 this season from 28 yards. Make it 10 of 14. Cougars with a three-man front. And that's all they'll bring. And the pass is incomplete. Over in poor field position with a chance of trying to tie this one up. And Mangum fires a pass that's going to be picked off. Jerron Bryant's got it. Bryant off to the races. Three flags on the field will check the penalty. Personal foul, chop block, offense, numbers 35 and 59. Prior to the pass, holding, defense, number five. The foul's offset, replay, first down. Four-man front for the Bulldogs, El Bakri. The deep give ahead to the 25, and when he runs, he rumbles Fresno with Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott. 
Cougars beginning this drive with poor field position again. Mangum floats it to Bushman, his tight end and favorite target, who dances out crossing the 35. Here in Fresno on third down for the Cougars. Mangum, pressure. Down he goes back at the 35. And then prefer more often. And Lasso to the backfield for a loss of two. Taki Taki got an interesting story to tell as well. On third down, McMarion delivers a strike, but it's incomplete. Boy, that was a precision throw, and it looked like it was on the mark. Fresno, the Big Ten is in a bit of a quandary after Ohio State went down. Penn State lost again. Quick pitch and catch for BYU. Shoved out on that in a minute. Third down here. Out of the timeout. Mangum pump fakes and fires a pass. It's caught. That'll move the chin. Mangum the whole way, and, and he unleashed that ball. Now Bakri inside give. And punishes his way up to the 28. And now the backup steps in as Bo Hodge hands off inside. And a nice gain by Canada as he bolts ahead to the 48. He did make it look easy, though. Ty Detmer. On third down, Hodge rifles his shot. Far side, and it's caught. Hodge tripped up inside the 30 by Jack. Good. Almond's kick on the way is long enough and good. Red Almond is. Wind is not a factor this evening. And a rifle right between the pipes. It's cold at halftime, but uh, sure enough, he's one tough player, that's for sure. Squally Canada keeping this play alive, crossing the 45, ahead to the 47. That's a gain of 20. Back in. Mangum. Bushman. First down. Defense. Completion. First down. Bushman, a star in the making. Quick pitch and catch. Simon's got it. Halfway through the third quarter. Cougars trying to tie it up. They have yet to reach Pater tonight. Pump fake. Mangum delivers another missile. Shumway. Mangum with time, rifles another pass, caught, and that'll move the change. What an effort by Micah Simon. Trying to get it to turn over, they're getting close. And closer to the end zone, Canada tripped up crossing the five. BYU can secure a first down. They've needed this season. Eighth carry for Canada, jump cut, end zone, touchdown! And the Cougars an extra point away from tying this one up. Good solid drive, good play calling, good execution. And they dodged the bullet with the fumble. Canada, really nice cut that time. Getting back and following that big offensive line, doing a good job pushing the pile. Mim straight ahead for the touchdown. And a fist pump by McMary in the boot. Spanish broadcast available right here on ESPN2. Mangum back in at quarterback. Bushman with a grab. And that Bushman continues. Bushman's doing well, running good routes. Cougars using tempo. Pitch and catch. Simon crossing the 30. Mangum the pump fake with time. And slipped and fell in the heart of the pocket. Fortunate that play. Didn't end in disaster, and Mangum slow to get up. There's no state, the Oregon State transfer. We'll give it to Mims, who tries to bounce it outside. He cannot. Fred Warner brought him down at the 15. Tight end Bushman has it, a short gain. He'll roll the pocket with Hodge. Tipped. And incomplete. George Helmuth got there to break up the. McMarion. Pocket collapsing. Dangerous toss. And it's out of bounds. Trying to spot Johnson. Through the season will have a chance to try to tie it up. The end of regulation. 
After a booming punt by Cusick. And brought down inside the five. Sambo Hodge. Faced with poor starting field position all night long. Hodge from his own end zone. Rifles a pass complete. Bushman lost it, recovered by Fresno State. Even a week ago, we were working New, Mex New Mexico at Wyoming. Bob Davey, the head coach of New Mexico, we started talking about Fresno State, and he said, listen, there's two guys on their defense, and Mike Bell, the free safety, jars the ball from Bushman, and the ball just comes flying out of Bushman's arms. And, and a first down for Fresno State, and that's going to do it. And how about the Bulldogs? Year one under Jeff Tetford's going to end in a bowl game. Around, and it's a big turnaround here in Fresno. Fresno State improves to 6-3. and three, Back to Mountain West Conference play next week. And another massive opportunity to try to claim a conference championship.